Hello farm families and welcome to another episode of Illinois Corn TV during planting season. This week we will catch up with a farm family in Illinois. We will see what our crop progress report says. We will hear the latest legislative information from Haley at Illinois Corn and we have exciting news from the Precision Conservation Management Team. Like us on Facebook and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes and videos. Well, the weather in Illinois has been up and down so far in April. First, we had that beautiful week of 70s, even some 80s, followed by rain and high winds, and back into average high temperatures in the upper 40s and 50s. So far, farmers are making the most of suitable fieldwork days, and our latest crop conditions report has us at just over 10% planted. Our weather forecasts say for the most part, we will start out nice this week with temperatures in the 60s, but then we will be back into seeing our highs in the 40s and 50s again to round out the month. Meanwhile, those in the field are making the most of it. Let's head out to the farm and meet an Illinois farmer. Started out farming in 1985 with my dad and uncle full-time. I farmed about five years before that. I raised corn and soybeans beef cattle, and um, we used to raise show pigs, and now I just raise a few um, butcher pigs. My farming practices comprise of no-till soybeans, conventional, a lot of conventional corn, and I do have some cover crop on some soybean acres. I started out farming with my dad and my uncle. Um, now the grandkids come out and they get to ride with me a few times a year when they're not in school. Planting season, that's kind of hard to put a finger on because we've been so cold and wet here up until just a week ago, and now it's dry. And so hopefully I can get out and get a little bit done. Farming takes a lot of money. Um, luckily I had my dad and uncle to help me get started. And, and we, we did without in the early days, but now we're able to um, we're able to do well with what we have. Patience, it takes a lot of patience because you want to plan to do things and mother nature doesn't always allow you to do what you want to do. Well, he's right about mother nature for sure. Let's now turn to Haley Bickelhop to learn more about the change in vehicle and gas emissions by the EPA. On Wednesday, the Environmental Protection Agency released a proposal changing the standard for vehicle greenhouse gas emissions. The plan aims to reduce emissions in cars and larger vehicles in the model years 2027 through 2032. However, Illinois Corn and the National Corn Growers Association and other leaders in the biofuels industry are frustrated with the plan. They say the proposal does not mention the environmental benefits of ethanol and puts more emphasis on car manufacturers to create electric vehicles. NCGA is looking to offer improvements to EPA on ways to include the positive impacts of biofuels and what they have on the environment. In related news, Illinois Corn continues to push support for the Next Generation Fuels Act as a solution for cleaner energy in America. Although President Biden vetoed a bill challenging the administration's waters of the U.S. definition last week, there was a positive for farmers this week regarding the 2023 ruling. 26 states have stopped the Biden administration's ruling from going into effect. Although Illinois is not on the list, other Midwestern states such as Iowa, Indiana, Missouri, and Nebraska are not enforcing the Biden administration's rule. NCGA and 17 other industry groups are parties on the two cases challenging the ruling. Thank you, Haley. And finally today, there is good news from our Precision Conservation Management Team. PCM will be increasing conservation acres in Illinois through a partnership with PepsiCo extending through 2030. That's according to Greg Goodwin, the PCM director. The partnership focuses on three priority conservation practices, planting cover crops, reducing tillage, and changing nitrogen application rates and timing are the three pillars of PCM's on-farm conservation work in Illinois, Kentucky, and Nebraska. 
Precision Conservation Management is the premier conservation program of Illinois Corn and Illinois Soybean Association. Good luck in the field again this week with planting, and we wish you all the very best this season. We will see you next week on the next episode.